Hey everybody, Alan Hain here, the Lawn Care Nut, with another landscape tip, aphids on spirea. Spirea bushes are a woody ornamental that I see all over the place, especially around the Midwest. In fact, some people would say they're overplanted. I don't really agree with that. I love them. I think they're a great shrub. They have beautiful pink flowers, great reddish leaves in the spring, and a really nice fall color. But one thing I do see every year when the summer comes along is aphids. Aphids love to munch on the new, fresh growth of the spirea bush. Next, let's look close at an infected spirea bush. See here as I zoom in, see this black stuff right here? What that is is sooty mold. The sooty mold is an indication that you have aphids. The sooty mold is growing on their poop. Their poop is actually referred to as honeydew, and the mold loves to grow on it. So if you see the mold, it's an indication that you have aphid poop somewhere in the vicinity, which would also indicate that you have aphids. So let me actually show you some aphids. They actually look like little green seeds, kinda. Here's a few right here. See how they're all bunched together, all happy right there? They're sucking the juices right out of that spirea. So how do I get rid of the aphids? The best way to do, especially if you don't have a major infestation, is to just clip off the ends of the branches where you notice the aphids are located. Of course, if you have a little bit larger infestation or you don't want to get down in there and really look for them and dig through the bush like that, then the next course of action would be to spray them off with a hose. That's right, aphids, they do damage, but they're actually pretty weak. And if you spray up into the bush like I'm doing here, you'll knock them off and they hit the ground, they pretty much die. Of course, this is a great excuse to drink a craft beer, like I am here with this 312 from Goose Island. Mmm, it's a sweet wheat. It sprays the aphids or it gets the hose again. I know, sorry, I couldn't resist. You don't want to do the pruning and the hosing doesn't work or you don't want to do the hosing is to go ahead and apply some insecticide i prefer something like this ortho ecosense here not really because it's eco-friendly i mean i don't necessarily really think it is but it's got a pyrethrin in it and then it's also got a horticultural oil in it which does two things the pyrethrin chases off and actually will kill the aphids and the oil makes it sticky so it stays and makes it kind of rain fast Spray this all around, of course, you'll see if you have a lot of spirea bushes, your hand is going to be really sore if you have to spray too many. Last thing is you can get a lot of natural predators in. I'm not lucky this year, but usually I'll have some ladybugs or some lace wings in, and they feed on the spirea naturally, and that can also help cure up your problem. I'm Alan Hain, the Lawn Care Nut, talking a little bit about aphids on spireas in the landscape. Hope you guys have a great week. Subscribe to the channel and I'll see you in the lawn.